box and it contains our new floating dock that we're going to use for our sandbar adventures. comes with uh, I guess it's like a wrench to tighten up the uh, valve and a patch I guess it's for repairs and uh, comes with real simple instructions I guess it's just a little step by step it looks pretty simple and then look, take a look inside see how this looks I'm not going to take it all out right now and then open it up but we'll do that when we go to the sandbar and then we'll finish the uh, presentation for this item comes in a um, package in here rolled up and uh, I guess we'll have it ready for use on our next video. Thanks for watching. And this is where the valve is at. Okay, in this part here, you have to get this little center part here and you press it in and you turn counterclockwise and it'll stay in I don't know if you can see it there but it stayed in flush here now and now it's ready for the uh, pump okay what we have to do here is press this little valve down and it says to turn it 45 degrees but it stays in there if you turn it just a little bit and this section just have to go in there and mind you this little gasket here I had to take it off the other piece because the one that was here was so thick I couldn't get this piece in there so that may be a problem if you receive one like this you may have to change the, the, the gasket from the other one to this piece here and then you just insert there press it in and turn and that's it you're ready to go for the uh, pumping now and this part here goes on this all right and now we're ready to pump I guess we're going to do a lot of exercising here now. So let's see how long does it take to get it filled. And this side here is not on right. You got to be sure that both sides of this thing is on there. I think, did we get it? No. This is the one that goes on. Is it on, on that side? I think so. All right. Let's go. Let's try it up. Let's see how long it takes. much but I think it'll take a little while and a lot of exercise and 
and cut. And this is round two of pumping more air manually. And uh, we're barely up from the floor yet. All right, this is round three of the uh, pumping up the air into this uh, inflatable dock. And we're gonna use this little grenade looking little thing. And uh, we're gonna connect it directly to there. And I'm going to turn it on. Let's see how long this takes now. Alright, I gotta say, this little grenade looking thing, really powerful. So once you put it on there, I think it'll be less than a minute before this whole thing pumps up. And uh, you gotta be careful and just turn it off before you over pump with air in there but uh, this is one thing that I like about this is this section here it's really hard it is actually hard enough to uh, stand or walk on it I'm not gonna do it here now because we're on solid ground but uh, once we get to the sandbar we're definitely gonna test it jumping off of it and uh, walking and I guess I will probably even put a share on and see how it feels but uh, you know what I'll give it thumbs up for now. All right, now when we're ready to disinflate, all you have to do is come to this valve here, press it in, and turn it slightly, and it'll stay deflating. And this part here, after you open the valve, it's still gonna stay with a little bit of air inside, so what we need to do is take all the air out of it, and this is what you need to do is just take off this side from here and connect it on the other side and turn it slightly and then you connect this back in there again okay you turn it slightly and then just turn on the pump Down. As you keep on taking out the air out until it's just completely flat on the floor so you're able to fold it back up again. Can't have any air in it. Starting to suck up already. All the edges. Then just turn it off. Then you take off the valve again. And you can put this back on there and close it up. 